welcome back to my channel. Today I have another unboxing. So this is day two of my week of unboxings and we have a Distracted by Diamonds. So this is actually the first kit I've purchased this year uh, from Distracted by Diamonds. They are one of my favorite shops um, to purchase licensed diamond paintings from. They were on a bit of a break. They opened up again, I think February 11th, and they had mentioned they would have some new releases. So this is a new release from one of my favorite artists that Distracted by Diamonds works with. Now I'm excited because there's something here. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but there's something extra in this package. So let me get into this. I love absolutely love Distracted by Diamonds branding. Um, the packaging that they use are just the boxes. Oh, there's a pen! My boyfriend was right. <laughs> I had this package sitting for just a day or two before I could get to filming and he picked it up. He's like, oh, what's this? You know, as he does when I get a new diamond painting. And he's like, this feels like a pen and it is a pen. Ah. I'm going to have to tell him he was right. Hey, Steven. Steven, you were right. It was a pen. <laughs> I'm filming right now. <laughs> so, he was right. And it is a, it's an acrylic pen. I've never gotten a pen from Distracted by Diamonds. I know sometimes they do those, um, uh, like gift, not gift sets, but like sets where you get a pen and, um, some samples of patty wax and all that. So this is very exciting. Thank you so much to Robin and Ben over at Distracted by Diamonds. That's such a cool little freebie there. And we have a bunch of placers. I've actually never tried a plastic curved single tip. I have a couple of metal ones, but very cool. Thank you so much. That's such an awesome surprise. Okay, so well, let's get into this diamond painting. So here is the Distracted by Diamonds box. I love their, I don't know what you would, I guess it is the, their branding, but I love this image. It's so pretty. Okay, so this kit is Valentine Kitty, um, the artist is Puffy Gator. She, they are one of my two favorite artists that Distracted by Diamonds works with. Uh, this is a round drill, 62 by 74 centimeter. So I know yeah, this is a little out of season now, um, but I have completed both Halloween Kitty and Christmas Kitty. So when I saw this in their shop, I knew it needed to join the collection. <laughs> so, oops, oops, I ripped the box because of course I did. Let's see. Is that everything? Yes. Empty box. Okay. So, Distracted by Diamonds does a cool little different type of toolkit. So, we have a regular pink pen with a multi placer and one of these heart trays. I think I have a pink one from them. And now I have a teal, so that's exciting. I've actually used these trays and they work very well. We have some Distracted by Diamonds washi tape and a heart-shaped pink wax. So that is exciting. But let's get into what we're really here for. <laughs> So this is a poured glue canvas. So I'm actually gonna roll this one backwards. Um, I actually like Distracted by Diamonds canvases. They're just a straight up canvas. There's no like coating on the back. Um, but it is a stiffer, like good quality canvas. I worked on two, no, I think I worked on three um, kits from them and I enjoy their canvas. It works very well for me. Um, 
I feel like it flattens pretty well over time and it doesn't crease when you're working on it. So I work on a drafting table, but I work with it flat. I don't work with it tilted. Um, and the overhang, sometimes with other kits from other companies, the canvas isn't as forgiving and you end up with like the fold from where it sits on the table. I've never had that issue with Distracted by Diamonds. So I really do like their canvas. Um, I'm just gonna hold this rolled backwards for a few seconds just to give it some time to straighten out. So I believe this is a piece of release paper. I don't know for sure. I've actually never asked, <laughs> but I do believe that this side, the shinier side, you can use as a release paper. I've never tried, so don't 100% take my word for it, but it's just my guess. This is something new, I believe, um, since I've purchased a kit. The last kit I purchased was Christmas Kitty um, back in November, I think, when that one came out. Uh, this is now a pre-cut sticker sheet. So we have the labels that you can put on your containers, and those are pre-cut, which is awesome. And this is also all a sticker. So very cool. It gives you some information on Distracted by Diamonds. Um, and a larger image. So cute. I'm so excited for this one. We have the drills, which we'll take a look at in a second. But let's look at this canvas. I'm going to have to, I think, put it the other way so you can get a look at the entire thing. But here is the cat to begin with. But how cute. Oh my gosh, this is so adorable. All right, let me turn it this way so you can get a better look at everything. Now, something I'm curious about, I did see Katie over at Diamonds and Washi. She um, purchased this one as well, and she had an issue with her clear cover. So I want to take a look at that and see if we have that problem. So let's actually go back this way so you can see me pull a corner down. Yeah, so it looks like the same issue with this kit. Um, you really have to pull. Uh, normally with a Distracted by Diamonds, oops, that just ripped, at least in my experience, has been um, very easy to pull away. I may actually completely remove the clear cover and put down some release papers and store this one flat. Normally I store them um, rolled up in their boxes, but I may pull all this off, cover it with release papers, and then store it flat. Uh, I, I definitely won't be working on this kit until next Valentine's Day, so I don't really want it to sit rolled up with release papers or this plastic cover. I think it'll just be better for the adhesive uh, to not have this cover on it. Um, it's, I mean, this is still very sticky, if you guys can see that. Uh, this is the spot where that plastic cover just ripped. Um, still super, super sticky. So I don't think it's messing with the adhesive. I think it's just maybe the poured glue was too, wasn't was cured enough when they laid it down. I'm not really 100% sure. Um, but I know Katie said she was going to reach out to um, Robin about this. Maybe I'll just shoot her a message just to let her know. I'm not looking for anything. I don't need a new kit. Um, this is adorable and I love it. Um, but just a heads up that this is an issue that people purchasing may have, at least with this round of kits. So let's move on from that. Um, still sticky. It's not messing with the adhesive and that's all I really care about. I don't have a problem with replacing this with a uh, with release papers. Anyway, let's move on. So it looks like we have 42 colors, um, including two ABs. And if you are a lover of pre-bagged drills, Distracted by Diamonds is for you. <laughs> I personally do not use pre-bagged drills. Sorry, I'm just seeing that I have some Looks like a bag. I'm thinking it's this one. Got a little loose 
uh, if you guys can see, so these are, like I said, bagged, pre-bagged drills. And sometimes if things aren't sealed all the way or drills will just get trapped in between the seal and the top. So it looks like that's what happened with this color. So we had a few that escaped. I've never run out of drills on a Distracted by Diamond. So even if that was the case and I was missing drills, um, pretty confident I would still have plenty to complete the kit. Uh, just get these back in here. And I wanna look at just a few colors and we'll also look at the ABs. All right, so let's take a look. Looks like 310 is in this kit, but there's a very, very small amount of it. This is the bag of 310s. If you're not familiar, 310 is DMC, uh, is the DMC number for black. So I really like Distracted by Diamonds round drills. I have completed, I think just one kit that was in rounds. I had some issues, but it wasn't a deal breaker for me. I'll actually leave the post review for that kit down below. Um, I'm just finding more drills in this bag. So yeah, very beautiful colors though. You guys can see. I just love Puffy Gators art and I love, 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 love how Distracted by Diamonds renders their artwork. Uh, I think it's just a really great match. Um, yeah, I just love how it's charted. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a look at this color here, 211. It's a pretty big bag. Um, you can see those drills there. Recently, so I used to think that the darkest drills were the worst to work with, kind of deciding that it might actually be the lighter colors. So like, is this 3865? Yeah. So like 3865 is also a pretty mass produced color like 310 or 939. Um, so I do sometimes like to look at the lighter colors as well because I feel like they can also have issues, but in general, there are less problems with round kits than square kits. Um, these drills look really nice. So very good quality drills from Distracted by Diamonds, and that's something that I've had experience with in the past. Like I said, I think I've completed three or four kits from them, and while I've had like small nitpicky type issues. There hasn't been anything that would make me not want to work on a kit from them in the future. Um, my first kit for March will actually be a Distracted by Diamonds, so I'm excited for that. All right, so let's look at the AB drills. We have two. We have 605 and 666 with a couple of green friends in there. These are really beautiful. ABs, I love the purple one. If you're new to diamond painting, um, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It's a special coating put on some of the drills that kind of just makes it even more sparkly. So here is a regular drill, 963. Here's an AB drill, 605. You can just kind of see the extra coating on this one that makes it super sparkly. So let's take a quick look at where these uh, AB drills may go. And yeah, that'll be the end. So the first AB is 605, which is the upside down Y symbol. Um, and that's the pink one. Let's see if I can find that anywhere. So I can see it down here in the kitties leg like right above the paw um i also see it in this part of the leg over here uh also towards the back of the legs over here i love this little heart just in the fur i think that's so cute uh and then i kind of see it throughout some of these flowers so like i think this is a rose and there's some in the petals over here and the second and final AB is red, which is the 666, and that is the spade symbol. I see that over here in this little cupcake icing. It's really cute placement. Uh, also here in the heart and throughout the bow. So there is 
one thing that I want to point out because I'm looking right here and I'm like, ooh, that might be a problem for some people. So I'm going to pull you down a little bit closer so you can see what I'm talking about. And then I will wrap this video up. So right down here in particular, uh, where this heart is, I had mentioned that the red AB is the spade symbol. And I can see that here next to an upside down triangle. So I feel like I need to pull you in even closer so you can really get a feel for it. So this symbol right here, that's the spade. So that is the upside, or no, sorry. <laughs> this is the spade. So that is the symbol for 666 AB. Right above it and right next to it is the upside down triangle, which is DMC 347. And just at a quick glance, I feel like I may mix that up. Um, now that I, I can see it, I'm more aware of it, obviously, but it's pretty similar when they're right next to each other. Like, here's another example. Let me use a little pointer. <laughs> so right here, this is the spade. So that's the AB. And then all around that is the upside down triangle. I just feel like they look a little too similar um, to be the same, basically the same exact color. I mean, there's very little difference between these two background colors. I feel like they're a little too similar of a symbol to be that close in color and to be right next to each other so often. That's just a personal thing. Um, in general, I'm not really someone who has an issue with mixing up symbols. I mean, that's not like a flex. It's just how my brain works. But I do feel like those two symbols may be ones that I really need to watch out for when I work on this kit. So, but other than that, um, let me pull you guys back up. Other than that, I don't think I'm going to have any issues or I don't see any symbols that might throw me off. Those are just the two that are kind of sticking out to me. Um, just because they're so similar in the background. I guess another one would be the diamond which is also in this area, but that's a pink one. So I don't think that would be too easy to uh, mistake. So anyway, this is Valentine Kitty from Distracted by Diamonds and Puffy Gator. It's a 62 by 74 centimeter round drill. There are 42 colors with two ABs. I think it's adorable. I'm so happy that I was able to grab this one. Um, if you're if you've never shopped with Distracted by Diamonds before, I will link all of their information down below. Um, but something to to know ahead of time is they only stock as many kits in their shop as they feel they can get out in a reasonable reasonable amount of time. So if you don't see this in their shop when you go to check, check back at a different time. Um, they stock their shop twice a day. Uh, noon and roughly 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, Monday through Tuesday and Friday through Sunday, I believe. Uh, I'm pretty sure they take Wednesdays and Thursdays off, but you can check their shop announcements on their Etsy page and that lists their stocking schedule. Um, so if you don't see it at the 12 o'clock release time, check back at 8 or vice versa. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with the Distracted by Diamonds kits that I've done in the past, so this was a no-brainer for me. So cute, like, oh, he's so cute. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed day two of my week of unboxings uh, and that you're happy to see Distracted by Diamonds because I'm happy to have a new one in my stash. But thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you all next time. Bye.